adventitious root on the topic fleshy adventitious root and now we will proceed further in the prop roots and the still roots let's see let's discuss about the prop roots let me do the for prop roots in front and let me delete the other stuff okay remove the other stuff from here and let me re remove this definition also so what are prop roots prop roots are also called hanging roots so why they are called hanging roots let me draw a diagram and let me draw a picture of a banyan tree okay so let this be the tree trunk and there is the branch as you know that the banyan tree is a huge tree huge tree trunk and a huge branch and such type of fruit prop roots are observed in banyan trees so i'm drawing the banyan tree let me draw some of its leaves or the bunch of the leaves that is a huge amount huge tree and you will observe that in a banyan tree okay in a banyan tree some structures are hanging from these branches up till the ground okay some structures hang from these branches from both the sides obviously up till the ground and i will tell you that these structures are called the prop roots of the banyan tree okay what are the functions of this chapter uh, this structures the functions are that they prevent the branch from breaking down means the huge load of the banyan tree falls on this branch this long branch and there is a huge tendency of this branch to break down and it will it can fall down due to this heavy weight but due to the presence of this pillar roots uh, this pillar like structures this branch is prevented from breaking down so that was the function of the prop roots so it is observed in banyan tree as i told ficus bengalensis the scientific name of banyan tree and it is also observed in rhizophora so let me write them down first observed in banyan tree and also in rhizo for okay that was the prop roots now let's come to the still roots we remove this stuff from here still roots so what is exactly the still roots let me draw another tree for you for okay. it is easy to understand with the help of diagrams so in case of the still roots which is observed in sugar cane or pandanus plant the plant is quite thin and quite tall quite thin and tall okay and what are exactly the structures that are called the still roots in this plant these structures are from this the lower node of this branch you will see in sugar cane or in pandanus plant anywhere you will see some structures like this develop like this develop okay root like structures only but it is above the ground so th if this is the ground level these structures are above the ground okay there will be some leaves also in this plant okay draw the leaves but not much maybe somewhat like this the plant will be okay and the main thing here is the structures this structure develop from this side okay and what does this structure do so you can see that this plant is so tall and this plant 
has uh, this tree i should say has a chance of falling down if strong wind blows because such a tall tree cannot be balanced if the wind blows from any either side so if this structures are there then it can prevent the plant from falling down on either side so that is the function of this roots and these roots are called let me write it down let me write it down these structures are called the steel roots and uh, that is a modification in the advantage root steel root okay that was the steel root let me write down some example where the steel root is found i have already told to write them down and we choose the color to be black steel root are found in steel roots are found in sugarcane and in pandanus pandanus is a scientific name pandanus okay so that is now let's move on to the next topic the next topic are the parasitic roots or the hostoria let me clear the stuff so what is exactly the hostoria again let me draw some drawings over here this time we will draw two plants one is the host plant and other is the parasite so let this be the normal plant Okay, there will be some leaves of this plant. Anyhow, we can draw the leaves. And this plant is not the parasite; this is the host. So it can easily obtain its nutrients from the soil. It has xylem, xylem vessels over here. These vessels, xylem vessels, will be there flowing, taking water. There will be phloem vessels. Okay, so these are xylem and phloem vessels, as you can say. These are the vessels of this healthy plant. Uh, xylem and phloem vessels. Okay, and let me draw the parasitic plant which possesses the hostoria or structure. Okay, there is my pencil tool. Here is the parasitic plant. It is not capable of taking nutrients from the soil, so there will be not few more leaves. Let me draw the leaves in yellow. Okay, the leaves will be no, not be able to perform photosynthesis, so they will not be green. So, how does this plant obtain its nutrients? This plant has some root-like structures developing. from here let me draw them in black no let me draw them in this color some root like structures will develop from here and they will coil around this branch like that okay not only one there will be some more root like structures and they will coil around this branch and while they coil around this branch there will be structures that penetrate this branch and reach till the xylem and phloem layer of this plant healthy plant and from this xylem and phloem layer of the healthy plant this parasitic plant can obtain its nutri nutrition and hence can survive so that is called there is a structure present in the hostoria and what are the example example is example is kaskuta kaskuta thank you